You try to launch a game, any game really, in this case something from Steam, and a Windows pop-up appears. We can't open this MS Gaming Overlay link. Your device needs a new app to open this link. There may be a different variant of the same information. You'll need a new app to open this MS Gaming Overlay link. Look for an app in the Microsoft Store. And the difference is there is no OK button in this case. Anyway, you may ignore this message and the game will run just fine. The reason why you have it is it actually comes from Microsoft Game Bar, which is a part of Microsoft Xbox app. Microsoft Xbox app relies on a few different things, some of them seemingly unrelated, and since I don't really use or even need Microsoft Xbox on my PC, I don't have it installed. If you try to search online how to get rid of this message, you may come across recommendations to install Game Bar back. Since it's a really minuscule software and removing it doesn't give you any sort of boost in performance. And actually someone who started using Game Bar recently discovered that it is much better than Nvidia Overlay since you have everything at one place, you can make screenshots, you can make screen recordings, and if you have a controller, it also gives you better control options in the overlay. So if you want to go this route, you can install the game bar back, then go to its settings, then general, and uncheck show tips at game startup. This will get rid of any notifications from game bar. However, in my particular case, not only I don't need Xbox or game bar, I didn't remove it myself, by the way. I'm using an official build of Windows, officially and quite expensively sold by Microsoft to corporate customers, which is called Windows LTSC, which is long time support. Windows 11 LTSC is not as bare as LTSB and LTSC used to be in the days of Windows 10, but it is still considerably lighter than the regular version of Windows. For example, it has Microsoft Store, and Xbox removed, and I never use any of that. I actually never use most of Microsoft applications built into Windows. Internet Explorer, Edge, Paint, Photos, Media Player, Music Player, I never use any of them, since there are much better open source options. And basically, I consider them bloatware. That shouldn't be on my PC, at least. And by the way, my work computer, which is Windows 10 LTC, still nags me if I want to play some Xbox games in the office during company hours. I wish. Anyway, all this, including this nagging pop-up, just shows that Microsoft didn't really release a nicely stripped down version of Windows since it still relies on some components that have been removed. So maybe Microsoft should release a bare-bone version of Windows where you select what you want to install and they actually kinda did that in the new Windows 11 installer. Anyway, it's pretty easy to get rid of this pop-up, and all you need to do is to open Windows Registry Editor, then go to this Game DVR section, and if it doesn't exist, create a DWORD32 with the name App Capture enabled, and keep it at zero. If the setting already exists, just change it to zero. Then go to Game Config Store, and the same thing, if it doesn't exist, create a DWORD32, GameDVR underscore enabled, and also put the value to zero. Reboot your computer just in case, and you should never see this nagging screen again. If you are not happy with the register editor, you can just put these comments into a batch file, which is a .bat file, and then execute it without administrative privileges. It may require a USC prompt, but you don't need to be an administrator to run it. If it fails to run, just run it as an administrator. Anyway, it will do exactly the same thing, but automatically. You don't have to enter anything manually. If this method doesn't work for you, there is a more elaborate one, which also disables the protocol that calls up those types of links. The process to remove it is the same. This is the batch file. You run it, it will add some commands to the registry, then you reboot your computer, and you shouldn't see this error again. I will put all the commands and the files on my website, which you can find by following the link in the description. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.